Hello designers. <laughs> Welcome to the premiere episode of Project Runway 4. Oh, snap. I know. First of all, we got to give a shout out to Icarus flew to the sun. Hello. A special message Duan, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, you happy now? <laughs> we didn't forget. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, 15 designers starting it out this year. Yeah. Started off with and Rami Kashu. Yes. From Ramala. Or Ramala. <laughs> Sorry. It's like in Israel <laughs> somewhere. I don't know. I've never been there. Just like Tyra's never been to China. I've never been to Israel. So then, yes. Chris March, a costume designer. Right. Christian Siriano, he went to design school in London and oh. he's 21 years old. I think he's the youngest one he's there. He's fresh. He is fresh. He reminds me of Marco from Degrassi. <laughs> 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 then Carmen Weber, a former model. She thinks it's very important that you she be a former model. She thinks she's got that kind of like she's perspective. Got an edge. Right. From being a model. Jillian Lewis worked for Ralph Lauren. Girl. Yeah, I know. And Kevin, Kevin Christiana. Right. He designed jeans, but he doesn't want to do that anymore. No, he wants to go back to the nip and tuck. <laughs> Jack McEnroth, an activewear designer. Mm -hmm. Does that mean like middle-aged ladies tennis clothing or? I don't know. I don't know either. Victoria is... Hahn. <laughs> yes. I like I her already. I don't remember what she did. <laughs> she was the one, oh gosh, what did she do? She was the one doing yoga, wasn't she? Yeah, I think so. Steven Rosengard, I already like him a lot. He works at a science museum. Mm -hmm. Simone LeBlanc, and she is LeBlanc. Oh. <laughs> I don't have anything written for her because I really didn't say too much about her. I don't think she had much of a resume. They, like, said a lot about some people and yeah. then, like, nothing about other people. Right. Elisa Jimenez. She is the marionette this, one. This one's an interesting person. <laughs> she is very spiritual, I she think. She designs marionettes, like, From three, three inches, inches to, to, like, 30, 30 feet. feet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. That takes a special person, I'm telling you. Marion Lee, and yes, that's a boy. He owns a flower boutique. And he designs out of his flower shop. Yes. Ricky Lazald, lingerie designer. He said he came from a family of 14. He did. He's number 12. I just read it on the website. Oh and God. Uh, they, I think he lives in Queens with his partner right now and his dog, Seven. That's okay. his dog's name? Yeah. Aww. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Sweet Pea. She was in an old girl motorcycle gang, <laughs> and now she wants to design clothing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Kit Pistol Scarbo. These people have like alter egos. Yeah, they do. That's her alias. So it says everything about her. Mark her. Twain. Yes. As she said. So designers, get over to Bryant Park and meet Tim and I. So yeah, they totally have the champagne on ice at Bryant Park, yeah. waiting for everybody. They're like, ah, Bryant. <laughs> so Tim and Heidi show up, party is over. <laughs> okay, so the first challenge begins immediately, designers. Mm -hmm. So as they point across the green... You see three white tents. Right. And Tim is like, alright, you gotta use these tents to make a garment that represents you as a designer. Right. So everyone's like, ah! Because they, they're like, oh, it's like this cheap plasticky material. Right. Well, but then... First they buttered them up by saying that this is the most talented group of yeah, designers well, of ever. But then Tim was like, all right, there is $50,000 worth of fabric from Moon. Psych! So, yeah. So they run over there, and the poor portly gentleman... <laughs> He couldn't get over there fast enough, but, you know, he made a good selection anyway. He said when he got there, everything that he wanted was what was left. I know. Lucky. Which was lucky. It was meant to be. So, yeah, they have ten minutes to choose the fabric, mm -hmm. till 1 a.m. to finish their garment, and nobody wanted the Bigfoot fabric. That was, like, the only one that was left. But the marionette lady decided that she was going to jump on her fabric like a dog and, like, scratch it into the ground and make grass stains. <sighs> What are you doing? Mental! Tim was like... <laughs> well, yeah, Tim, what are you doing? <laughs> well, designers, make it work. Make it work. <laughs> 
Tim, we love you. All right, so Elisa, spiritual? Maybe. She was sewing her dress using her own body. Did the marionette tell her to do that? They might have. I think they talked to her. So yeah, it's 9 p.m. You know what that means, kids. Time for a checkup with Tim. How's it going, designers? Oh, Tim, we love you. I can't say it enough. <laughs> Rami's creation was stunning. Uh -huh. Tim was just like, bye. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, eh, your pattern was a little asymmetrical. Like, I'm, it lined up in the back, but then, like, the sleeves weren't even. No, well, it didn't exactly line up in the back because the middle part did, but then That's the side parts... That's what the middle. Yeah, but then the side parts of the back were off. That's what I'm talking about. They weren't the sleeves, though. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Simone, what the heck were you thinking with those colored selections and just everything? It was, like, taupe and yellow and, like, ugh. Icy blue and... Unless the color on my TV is off, I don't know, but Elisa, it looked like a whole bunch of crap coming out the back of a dress. Tim came up to her and he's like, oh yeah, I got a lot left, don't you? And she's like, oh, I'm done. Yeah, so what does she do? She goes and takes a nap for like hours. I have never seen that happen before. Me neither. Everybody's always working up to the last minute. What do you think this is, Top Chef? Uh-uh. <laughs> So yeah, they had models assigned to them the next day on Judgment Day. So they have two hours to get their models to the Tresemme Hair Salon, the L'Oreal makeup room, and access the Blue Fly accessory wall, which is totally hot. Okay, so Elisa's model showed up and she's like, uh, let me measure you. With, with my, my hands. hands. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, don't touch me. Get out the tape measure, bitch. <laughs> So the judges panel, Micah Kors, Nina Garcia, Monique Thuyer. Yeah, she's the guest judge though, she yes. won't be back. So the top and bottoms, Christian, you know, Excellent. the plaid jacket, quirky plaid and jacket, fantastic. jacket and then like, bubble Topi asymmetrical skirt. skirt. I didn't was, like the skirt but I liked I the liked, jacket. It was very European. Yes, it was. Simone. Looks like the model got dressed in the dark. The jacket didn't really go with the dress. The jacket... The dress didn't go with the dress. The jacket was total crap. And she didn't <laughs> have time to sew on the zipper. Yeah. So it was like she sewed, sewed it onto on the model. Yeah. <laughs> Rami. Or, yeah, it's Rami. 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 Sophisticated and chic. He had like this gray long gown and yeah. it was draped. And it was, oh. There was a flower here. M.O.B., but we don't care. <laughs> Michael Kors was like, oh, it's M.O.B., Mother of the Bride. No, it wasn't. It totally went with the dress. I don't know. I didn't care for the... I loved it. ...so much, but I could deal with it. I'd still buy it. Ricky, your baby doll was too safe, honey. The lingerie designer. Interesting fabric. I liked it. But I liked it was the little simple, detail around the, uh, you know, chestular region. Yes. Yes. So, um, Victoria... I really like that dress. I didn't like it when I first saw it, that little velvety bubble dress. But it was great. Just don't plan on raising your arms. Yeah. It had, she like, had like tie down straps. <laughs> but then there was like straps going this way. Bondage straps. So Michael Kors was like, don't try to hurl a cab in that dress. Why? Just lift Heidi it up a little like, bit. Heidi was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who has cabs? I have limo. What is cab? Yeah, so, um, Elisa. <laughs> Heidi summed it up perfectly. It looked like her dress was pulling fabric out the back. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. it was like this long blue thing with like a train of fabric coming out of the butt. Enough! Judgment time! <laughs> so, one winner and one of you is out. So... <laughs> The winner of the first challenge of Project Runway 4 is Rami. Congratulations, Rami. <laughs> and then, in the bottom two, it came down to Simone and Lisa. Big shock there, right? Yeah, well, the, they, the they, never, part, they never get rid of the crazy ones the first week. Yeah, but you know what? The sad part was, as much as there was crap in the back of that dress of Elisa's, the actual dress was really nice. I didn't think so at all. I really did like I didn't the sleeves, like it. and I like the whole silhouette, and the whole yeah, thing they like, said with the seam all cut on one seam was true. That is not easy to yeah, do. Yeah, but 
up here, it was like cut out on the armpit, and then there was like sleeve there, and yeah. it was like, ugh. She's got some skills. I know, but I didn't. They're not bad skills, but there's some skills. So yeah, you know who's gone. Simone, you are out. <laughs> Off we just did. <laughs> yeah, MFOs. As Santino would say. Mm -hmm. Well, kids, it's going to be an exciting season. Yes, it is. And let me tell you, the only thing that we're going to mention about it is that Jack has something to say. And everybody is total... <gasps> <gasps> that made me yawn. Uh, <laughs> I cannot wait for that announcement. I know, but it Tim looked Gunn, like it was Tim Gunn, don't sad. keep us waiting. I hope he's not leaving the competition. Me too. Okay, kids, until next week on Project Runway Beyond Reality Recap. Tim Gunn. Much, Much love. love.